So this is Discord, specifically the study lounge server where you can go to discord.gg slash study lounge and just to join us. And you can see from the users, we have a lot, a lot of users with many different roles and achievements. And we have this bot that, by the way, if you want to create your own study room or your own study server with your own friends, you can just click the, bo click the bot or click the link in the description. And it's completely free to add, to add to your study server. So you don't have to study with us. If you just want to study with some of your friends, you can create your own server on Discord and invite the bot and it will help you out in your own server. But I will explain bit by bit slowly on this tutorial what is exactly a bot or a virtual study room and I will show you guys how you can really improve how you study even if you can't actually go to the library. Their voice channel you can join on Discord and you can pretty much, let me show you for example, you can pretty much join one of them and what you are going to see, you are going to see many many different people studying at the same time. Now here specifically you only see the profile pictures of people but if I'm going to join, for example, and I'm going, of course, to uh, blow everything so to keep the privacy of the users, you're going to join one of the camera-only study rooms. You're going to see that many people are actually opening their camera and they study together virtually at the same time. And this feature is something that can really enhance your study experience because it's so, so important. The next feature I would like to show you guys, it's something called accountability room. So accountability room is a feature we made through our bot, which is pretty much to add the sense of accountability to your studies. So the bot will allow you, let me show you for example, and I'm going to type rooms. So exclamation mark rooms pretty much going to show me how many sessions I attended, what is my attendance site, how much time I spent in the accountability room, what does it mean? It means that we have a feature in, let's say, rooms book that allows you to schedule when you want to study. And when you schedule when you want to study, you will have to attend the room, the schedule room, because if you won't attend and you won't study, pretty much everyone who attended for the same time in this accountability room is going to lose the bonus they can get. So, for example, if I'm going to type zero, I'm going to be scheduled for the next accountability room, which is going to be from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Right now, it's 9.52 a.m., which means that the bot is going to tell me and remind me that I should study together with people in a couple of minutes, and I will have to join the accountability room. Because if I won't join, as you can see from the lobby itself, when everyone attended, you get the bonus coins. When someone is missing from the room, everyone is going to lose the bonus coins. So having this sense of accountability and responsibility that you must attend a voice channel, a virtual study room at a specific point of time is a feature we are very proud of and we made it ourselves and it's really, really nice to add this sense of accountability. The whole point of Discord servers in general is to add the sense of responsibility and accountability because you know other people rely on you and you rely on other people, other students from all over the world. The next feature I would like to show you is the remind me and the to-do list. So you can interact with the bot with exclamation mark to-do and you can create your own to-do. For example, if I write add, edit this video or add show um, Kate the thumbnail, for example, I will add two different things to the to-do list. Now I have my to-do list and everyone else in the same room can see your to-do list and you can see pretty much others to-do list as well. So I have edited this video and showcased the thumbnail. If I want to mark or check everything, I'm just going to type the number zero. We'll just check zero. One, we'll just check one. It's really, really straightforward. And when you complete any to-do list, any task, it's pretty much going to give you a bonus, a bonus coins that you can use for other things. For example, you can change the color of your name in the server and get you specific calls. It's really nice, but in general, the point of the to-do list is just to keep you accountable and also, of course, you can use this to-do list. You can create this to-do list on one server and every other server that invited the style lion bot. When you do exclamation mark to-do, you will be able to see your to-do list all over the server. So even if you study with your own friends using this bot, you will be able to view your stats and your to-do list. The next thing is remind me. So the bot has the ability to remind you to do something. For example, if I would write exclamation mark, remind me, to go to buy food every eight hours. Now the bot will remind me to go buy food every eight hours. 
it's really straightforward. Just make sure your direct messages are open through the settings below. That's it pretty much. The most important thing when it comes to study servers is to check for how long you've been studying. So the point of the study server is that when you join a voice channel, when you join one of the following rooms, the bot will count the time that you stayed in, the, in this room. It means that the bot will know for how long you've been studying, on which days, for how long, and then it will generate your own personal stats, your own personal statistics, to actually review and see. So check this out. If I go to the bot channel again, and I will tap stats, I will be able to see for how long I've been studying, what is my league, how many coins I have, what is my leaderboard position, even how many workouts we have, with, which is something we do personally on this server. And if I will do top exclamation mark, I will be able to see actually what is my position in the leaderboard comparing to other people who studied during the same month. For example, uh, now it's the 22 of October and I studied for 180 hours. Uh, Roman, for example, studied for 178. If I will go to the first place, this person studied over 300 hours in a couple of weeks, which is insane. We have bubble tea which is like 300 as well so as you can see it pretty much gives you the ability to track your progress and it gives you this sense of competitiveness which is really fun when it comes to do anything so it's something that we use the server in order to just add this sense of competitiveness accountability and responsibility that's the whole point of the study lounge and many other discord servers in general so this is it pretty much guys it sums everything up so the main point of our server is to pretty much study together and to chat with each other when you don't study. So you join one of the study rooms, the virtual study rooms, and you just open your webcam. Then you interact with the bot using exclamation mark stats or top. And by the way, you can do exclamation mark help to view all of the future and current comments we have because some things might change. You can pretty much create your own accountability room and you can join and be accountable to join in the exact time so everyone won't lose the actual bonus because if you want to attend and even a single person more than 10 everyone lose the bonus you can interact you can meet people from all over the world and you can pretty much join any virtual study room you want and this is really the point of the server and i highly encourage you to give it a try even if you don't want to open your webcam and to show your face you can show your desk setup or you can share your screen you don't really have to show yourself in the webcam but joining a study room and seeing other people at the same time it's something that for sure will help you to study better. I really hope this channel and the server in general really helps and enhance your experience when you study. I know from my, my experience that streaming and seeing other people studying makes me way more accountable. It really helps me to stay active and study a lot. So I really hope this video makes sense and helps you out to understand how to use our Discord server. And don't forget, if you have your own Discord server, you can feel free just to check the link in the description and to invite a study lion to your server so you can study privately with your own friends. So I will see you in the next stream. Thank you so much.